whatever you want. And they've got a heck of a team. Cheryl Ford, Swin Cash. Oh, Katie Smith. I mean, it just goes on and on. Five All-Stars. At the free throw line, Kyle DeHaven. This is the first, makes the second. So Delaware back on top by a point. Under four minutes to play, first half. We have had some lower seeds play very, very well here in East Lansing today. And a steal ball taken away. Kashansky had it. And they're going to call a jump ball. The ball will stay with Michigan State. Well, you can order copies of every complete game from the 2007 NCAA Division I Women's Basketball Championship through NCAA On Demand at NCAAsports.com. So this one will be worth keeping around for a while. So far, so good. We're off to a good start. And I'll tell you, Delaware has really taken this big crowd out of it. They are just sort of sitting around waiting for something good to happen. And before the entry pass, we're going to have a foul call. That's against DeHaan. That's her second personal foul, trying to get loose. Trying to push off in the back of that zone. Pushes through. And they caught her on the push off. And with those two fouls, DeHaan will go to the bench. She's replaced by Maisha Bannister, number 45. Fisher. Too strong. Read on Irving. Courtney Irving, the junior from Hope Kesson, Delaware. And suddenly offensive rebounds and putbacks a whole lot easier with DeHaan on the bench. It's now an 8-0 run for the Fighting Blue Hens. Jump shot, no problem. Maya Johnson. Did a great job, that baseline pass. I really think with the WNBA, coaches are looking for that pass much more than they ever used to. Joanne P. McCauley just urging her team to be more energetic in this zone. Irving misses inside. It is amazing how much the shot block is part of their defensive scheme. Skip pass, open look. Off the front of the iron, Wolf can't hit it. Nice chase down by Delaware. De Haven, Fisher, offensive rebound, she'll bring it back out. Now anyway, you slice it. This has been a fantastic first half for Delaware, coming into a difficult place and standing toe to toe. And no doubt about it. I mean, they're a 12 seed trying to beat a five on the five's home court. The Haven, no go. She has her shot blocked. They're digging into that record book before long. Wolf. Now Grantham inside. Ball stolen away again by Delaware. Fisher taking her time, has the ball stripped away. Good defense by Johnson. Smith gets it back, can't hit the jumper. Now another steal for Smith. Are you kidding me? Don't put the ball on the ground when she's around. I think that's a great coaching tip. The defensive player of the year the last two years in the Colonial Athletic Association, you can see why. She's a pest. She's an absolute pest. DeHaan sits with two personal fouls. Is she just getting arrested? or do you think they're protecting her with those two fouls oh, as you come to the close of the half? I don't have any doubt they're protecting her. 6.7 rebounds and a whole bunch of blocks in this first half. Another whistle inside. And this time, it looks like it's going to go against Delaware. Delaware. Listed to Han, six points, seven boards, four blocks. She'll fill up that stat sheet for you. In a hurry, off to a great start in this ball game. And the best news for Delaware is she's sitting right where she is and not impacting play. That last foul called on Tyresa Smith, her second personal. Rini Haynes will shoot the one and one. And kind of a silly foul, like trying to go up and over the back once a position was already established. She's a player who has to be on the floor, cannot afford any ticky tack fouls. Haynes, the senior from Columbus, playing in her 12th NCAA tournament game. It's both. 
expected this to be low scoring, but I, it, I'm a little surprised it's as low scoring as it is. Just can stay. They're going to just stay in that zone. Fisher gets it. 